When our brother and I were younger, mother bought us bunk beds. It was wooden, and the top bed was connected to the bottom bed. But when we got older, mother broke the bunk bed into two separate beds. Wait a second. So this is the top part of the bunk bed. You see all this wood. This thing was wooden. And this is my brother's top bed. So she still has it. All right. But, uh, when we were young, younger, we used to tell stories at night to each other. And every time I got to the good part of my stories, my brother would fall asleep. And in the morning, I would be really angry at him. Sometimes we couldn't tell stories because mother would tell us to be quiet at night. And I spoke, I was had a really loud voice. But. But. I, I didn't like my bed. And as I got older. As I got older, the bed got smaller. So mother decided to to buy a bigger bed. Um, you see this bed over here? This is the uh, this is my bed. This all this side over here is is you know books and stuff. It's it's a really big bed. But, um, a poem that I wrote yesterday, um, was about your strength and mercy. At night, when I'm resting, I feel lonely. I don't know why, but I'd use like, I guess I would use this cover. Sometimes I'll put it over my face and and I would imagine that you're approaching my bedside and the books and papers on my bed would be gone. And you'll sit on the bed nearby. And your fingers would brush, brush my hair. And I don't know, I don't know if I'll always feel lonely at night. But I'm very grateful that I have such strong thoughts about you. I'm very thankful that you've never hurt. You've never stopped my writing. I 
and I'm very grateful that I've lived with great thoughts of your protection under your mercy and kindness.